Hey noobs, today I'm going to be talking about what vegan, cruelty-free skincare I've been using. And I'm very excited because it's been about five months since I've gone vegan and um, I've still been working on the rest of the lifestyle, which includes, you know, skincare, makeup products, clothing, and things like that. So far, because I'm not really a big, um, I'm not a huge consumer, I don't buy a ton of makeup or clothing very often. Um, so I haven't really purchased very many new things since going vegan, even though that was five months ago. So I still have old makeup that is not vegan, it's not cruelty free, because I already owned it, and I think I would rather use it and finish it than waste it, because it was already made. I just think that's good uh, resource-wise. But as far as new products go, I would really like to start only supporting vegan, cruelty-free companies that don't test on animals, which is why I'm very excited to present to you the company of this video. OC Skincare contacted me, and they're from Malibu, California, so I was like, I see you. They contacted me, and they wanted me to just do a review of the products, so that's what I'm doing. And the funny thing is, I usually don't have much of a skincare regimen. I have very dry skin. It tends to get really flaky really badly if I overwash it or anything. So I usually just stay away from too many skincare products. But from trying all these products out, they're all very gentle. They have different collections for different kinds of skin, obviously. <laughs> Normal to dry, oily, sensitive slash rosacea, or a combination. Even though my skin is dry, I decided to pick the sensitive one because I feel like that works better with my skin type. It's not just dry, it is sensitive as well. So, the products that I got have been working really well with my skin and I'm pretty happy about it. Let's just jump in. Well, first of all, I forgot to mention the whole point of this video. OC is vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and it's made with organic seaweed. You know, my skincare matches my diet. Vegan and gluten-free. And I've got to admit, it's definitely a high-end company. It's from Malibu, but it's also extremely high quality. I'm not even used to <laughs> skincare this nice, so my skin is just like being pampered every day. First thing is this ocean cleansing milk. Obviously it's not cow milk. I was trying to figure out what kind of milk it is, like almond milk, Mwah. but I couldn't tell from the ingredients. All I know is that it's vegan milk. So this is just a basic cleanser for soothing, hydrating, calms inflammation, boosts elasticity, supports collagen production, and it removes makeup. So I've been using this to wash my face and it feels great. Another cleaning product. I'm so bad at this, I'm not, I don't do makeup videos or skincare, so sorry. Here's the white algae mask, and it's fun, it comes out like this. So this mask you can either use for 10 minutes to just clean your skin, or you can use it overnight to even your skin tone. This mask is kind of translucent when you put it on, so it's kind of nice. I don't really like those masks that are like clay and then your face is just like hardened. So this one's, it's nice. But once again, when I wash it off, my face doesn't feel dried out. It feels nice and moisturized and very, very soft. It's so nice. And the other two products are um, moisturizers, basically. So we've got the Advanced Protection Cream. It smells like, it's kind of a normal lotion scent. How to describe sound, scent. There's so many people going through the dorms, college, right? Yeah, I can't, I can't think of anything. Except maybe that it's a little bit citrusy. Is that accurate? I usually use cortisone cream on my face because it's good for eczema. And, um, my face is really dry around my nose and like right here on my cheeks and then on my forehead and between my eyebrows. So usually I use cortisone cream and that really helps like the flaky dry skin chill out. But this stuff obviously is amazing and you only need a little bit of it. it spreads out nicely and my face is so soft. I'm lucky I have a really soft face naturally but like this stuff. And this is the essential hydrating oil. You literally roll it on. The first time I used this, I put way too much on. 
forgot that it's oil. But even then my face wasn't super greasy, it was just like, okay, too much. <laughs> So there it is, my first experience with vegan skincare, and I've got to say, it's great. I love using products that I know are good for me, and also, you know, good for the animals, because animals don't have to get hurt with these products. So make sure you guys check out the website. The link is in the description. You can look at their Instagram, which is OC Malibu. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you to OC Malibu. Okay, thanks, bye.